world, it's the Morning Assembly News. I'm Shay. And I'm Shay with a mustache. You know, it's really good to see you again, Shay, as well. <laughs> Reporting live from Niski, we have Mama D offering us some tips on how to stay healthy in quarantine. Good afternoon. This is Nancy Driscoll reporting from Niski Uni, New York. During the global pandemic, it's important to stay healthy and practice social distancing while sheltering in place. Part of staying healthy is exercising. While some of us are taking walks or doing yard work, there's at least one dog doing calisthenics. Here's Arlo, the wonder dog. Take it away, Arlo. Ladies and gentlemen. Mama D, that was possum. Ugh. Up next, we have Linz with the weather. What can we expect this weekend, Linz? Hey everybody, this is Lindsay coming at you live from outside. It is a beautiful day out, nice sun, a few clouds. It's a little chilly and there's some wind, so you might just want to have a jacket with you if you plan on going anywhere. Got mine. So, oh, hang on. I'm getting something. Oh, apparently, apparently there is potential for some type of storm. It's moving pretty quickly, so I'm glad I have my jacket here. Um, and it's a, what? Rain, rain, rainstorm. No, it sounds like, no, it sounds like you're saying grain with a G. Rain, grain. It is grain. All right, apparently we have a grain storm that I, I believe it's starting with oatmeal? What? Oatmeal? And then it's gonna quickly transition into tortillas? And, oh god, and bread? And, oh god, this is getting out of control, people. <laughs> Thanks, Linz. Now over to Mick with our riddle of the day. Take it away, Mick. Greetings, Double H. Coming at you today from sunny Saratoga with a riddle. What is tall when it is young and short when it is old? Tune in to the talent show later to find out. Oof, that's a tough one. I can't wait to hear the answer on the talent show. Oh, oh, I think I got it, it's a shh. Mm. Why don't we check in with Brian? Am I saying that right? Brian? Brian? Brian. Brian? Yeah, fun facts with Brian! I'm, I'm on already? <laughs> Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Five Fun Facts with Francine. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm not Francine, I'm Brian. I'm filling in for Francine because she took a day off to enjoy the nice warm May weather we're having. <laughs> Uh, as you can tell, this is actually my very first time as a news anchor, so I'm a little nervous, but I dressed up extra special for the occasion, and I picked a great topic, the Double H Ranch. First fun fact is that Paul Newman actually has a line of products in the store called Newman's Own Products, like salad dressings, and all of the profits go to the serious fun camps, similar, like the Double H Ranch is one of them. The Double H Ranch actually used to be a dude ranch before it was purchased for uh, use as Camp Double H. What? Uh, I don't know what a dude ranch is. <laughs> I guess I should have done my research. Ask your parents about that. Matthew McConaughey's mother actually volunteered at the Double H Ranch. Pretty cool, huh? But interestingly, she kept her secret identity the whole time. She didn't want to deal with the paparazzi and everything. Ah, yes. Charles Wood's daughter actually bought a racehorse, and she named it Pappy's Double H. Uh, was it a great racehorse? Let's just say it had passion, and it had love, and it had spirit, and it was so nice it, it let all the other racehorses go right by. And last but not least, for the fun fact of the day, is... Camp Double H goes through about 700 pounds of chicken nuggets every summer. Uh, I kind of made that statistic up, but it's a lot of chicken nuggets. 
All right, thanks for listening and back to you. They say you learn something new every day. Thanks, Brian. Who do we have next? Cole. What's he doing? Magma magic, I guess? Really? Uh, now over to Cole with just Cole things. Good morning, Double H. It's so good to see you all. Most of you know me as, a, uh, as your counselor, but many of you may also not know that I am also an aspiring magician. So today I'm going to attempt to show you a couple of my best magic tricks. Uh, for my first one, right here we have my cat, Roo, uh, who is going to move right now. Okay. Here I am with another trick. Sorry, Roo wasn't cooperating. We're going to try and uh, do a trick with him a little bit later. Uh, but I'm here with my mom. Hi, mom. How are you doing? Hi, mom. Uh, and I have a deck of cards right here, and I'm gonna have my mom pick a card and then put it, pick a card, memorize that card, and then put it back into the pile. Any card, any card. Don't show it to me. Pick it, don't show it. What does it say? No, don't say it. Got it. Okay, put it back in, wherever you want. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle up these cards. Oh, you have it memorized, right? I do. Okay. And now, to pick out the card that mom chose, I'm gonna throw these cards up into the air and pick it out of the air. You ready? One, two, three. Is this your card? No. <laughs> nope. Oh, shoot. So, since the tricks weren't really going as planned, I have one more trick up my sleeve, even though I don't have any sleeves, uh, that I, I hope I can show you. Uh, I recently learned how to juggle, and uh, hopefully, hopefully this works. All right, first attempt. Oh, man, okay, okay, hang on, hang on. I think I remember it. Okay, okay. One goes up. Crap, that's not it. Nope, nope. Okay. All right, third try, third try. Oh man, okay, okay. Last one, I promise. Okay, here we go. Oh, not that. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yes! Yes! Buddy, we got Rue back. He's back from doing whatever he was doing. Uh, so again, what I'm gonna do with Rue is attempt to turn him into a potato. I promise I've done this before, so let's see if it works. Must be, he must be too close to being an actual potato. Mm -hmm. That must be the problem. Well, oh, I, I don't know. That's all the tricks I've got on my sleeve. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> well, that just about wraps up the morning assembly news. I'm Shay. And I'm Shay. With a mustache. We're looking forward to spending this weekend with you all. And don't forget to have, have safe, safe